matter textures all over in this. I'm sorry. I have way too many textures to be like, I have 4B, I have 4C, I have 4... No. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today guys, we're going to be talking about um, hair, natural hair care. And also postpartum and how that affects your hair and stuff, right? So I, I had a baby um, almost a year now. My son is going to be one this month. And I lost a lot of hair. My shedding was ridiculous. After three months, my son stopped taking breasts. Um, he weaned himself off the breasts. And my hair was just coming out in clumps. Like whenever I would like detangle my hair, take my hair down from twists, from plaits, whatever I had in my hair. Wash days were ridiculous. I had hair everywhere. I was devastated, right? And uh, I lost a lot of my edges. Um, like my edges are bald uh bald like if you move like the hair from the front part the front section of my hair of my, my hairline my edges are bald somewhat let's see let me not be dramatic somewhat bald um like it's giving scalp i don't know if i will be able to restore that but i was also looking at my hair care and my regimen and i probably did neglect my hair for almost a year now that I think about it, I probably did. I probably, yes, I did. I did neglect my hair. So the things that I used to do before I, ha I got pregnant, I wasn't doing anymore. I was doing a lot of um, herbal treatments. I used to wash my hair weekly. I used to use like um, Ayurvedic herbs and stuff like um, Amla, Brahmi, um, Henna, stuff like that, right? Um, yes, I do use like over-the-counter um, deep conditioner. Yes, I do But I was really incorporating a lot of herbs and stuff in my regimen And I haven't done that in a year. I used to do a lot of, of tea treatment um, black tea treatment like I used to spray that on my scalp during wash day Wash day used to be wash day though. Don't get it twisted. Wash day was wash day now that i have a child it is harder it is very very harder for me to actually be like okay i'm gonna have a wash day no sweetie wash day turn into wash hours yeah that's how it is now because baby boy needs mommy constantly so i am always like on mommy mode i'm going to show you guys like pictures because i think i have pictures of the clump of hair that I had coming out. I, I think I do, and uh, I'm going to incorporate it into this video. I'm going to do a weekly update with you guys, and uh, if you like, you can go ahead and join in, and we can uh, we can do it together, where we're gonna be taking care of her hair. I'm going to be doing this, uh, I wanna say every two weeks, because you, there are certain things you cannot do to your hair every week. Like, henna is very strong, and you cannot do henna to your hair every week. Now, if, you're iffy about henna then you want to add in some some um amla with it because that's going to like help with the color because henna will change your hair color it will give you like a reddish kind of look so if you're kind of iffy about that then just put like an amla with it and that will like help with the the, the color balance out the color because the amla is going to make your hair a little darker right so for me now i am low porosity for anybody who wants to know, I am low porosity, I'm type 4 hair. I do not go by hair type, like texture and stuff like that because, baby, there's a lot of textures all over in this. I'm sorry. I have way too many textures to be like, I have 4B, I have 4C, I have 4... No, I don't do that. I go by porosity because my hair takes products based on how well it absorbs it. That's And I'm speaking for me. I'm speaking for Tanya. I don't know about anybody else i'm just speaking for me and what i do right so we're going to do a length check and we're going to see how long my hair is now and i'm going to be doing this for a month and at the end of the month i'm going to share updates with you guys so we can tell like did i retain some length how long my hair is how shiny my hair is did my edges do my edges look like they're they're coming in a little or do they look a little fuzzy like they're coming back like we're gonna do stuff like that yeah so we can see like um restoration and progress so that's what we're trying to do and it would be nice if you guys join in so we can do this together 
oh don't forget to like comment share and subscribe please go ahead and do that for me please and be a part of the family thank you very much all right guys let's go ahead and do the lens check come with me now And this is what we're going to be using for our hair, right? So, in here, some awesome water. So, I'm a kick up. All right, so we're gonna mix up some potions. So, first, we're gonna put some henna. All right, so we just I got pour some henna. I'm gonna really portion out the henna as in, like, much exactly to put. You just, you know, some listen, may I measure me can? And uh, <laughs> we don't really measure things, we just pour. So, I have this much this much in there so far there right all right cool but that's really what we want we want mostly one henna in here so we have um, amla and shikai kai amla basically I help with the coloring and then the shikai kai i believe shikai kai powder supposed to help it clean your scalp so it's almost like a shampoo like right so this we are gonna measure out just like a measure out it kind of clump up a little bit too but that's okay so there we go we have that much that much we have that much in there can okay, you so see i see there you go pour that all right put that to the side and then we look like this right 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 good brahmi we have brahmi now brahmi is supposed to help with the scalp Bami is for scalp, so infection, itchy scalp, stuff like that to help with. And we're gonna put um, one teaspoon. One. We'll put that over there, so. And then this is fenugreek, fenugreek powder. Fenugreek is for moisture, so we just have to put one some fenugreek in there. All right, so that's it for the powder. Um, Ayurvedic. All right, MSM powder. I forgot what MSM powder is supposed to do again. But we're gonna put two or a little spoon like this. So one, and then one more, two. But I know it helps for um, strengthening your hair and helps for growing your hair. I think it's collagen. 
if I'm, I think it's collagen. I think it's collagen, right? All right, now we're gonna go to oil. So this is our bulk oil. This you can get at Walmart. I think it might be like five dollars. I think this is probably five dollars at Walmart. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we're just gonna pour some oil in there. And then grapeseed oil because uh, you want moisture as well as strength so that's why we have put the oil we just we don't want we hear see we don't want our hair to be like you know just strong so and then um, argan oil and uh, put some argan oil listen I do not measure out oil because uh, yeah I just pour and then peppermint oil we're not going to put a whole drop in there, we're, a whole um, thing in there. We're going to put a couple drops, so one, three, four, five drops. Because it's going to open up my sinuses and we can't take it. So no, we're not going to put a lot in there. I'm going to mix. Mix that. Keep in mind, this is just oil, right? I am thinking about tipping some water in there. You see, me take up the water already. So I'm thinking about putting some water uh, because I don't know if henna work with just oil because I know that the water helps to like bring out the nutrients. But we're going to put some water. We're not going to put a lot though. Just a little took for water like so. And this water is a little warm. And as you know, water and oil are really mixed. So the oil go kind of spring to the top. Like, and, and whatnot. But that's okay. That's alright. Alright? At least the ingredient I'm going to get for the white. Though. And we want it to be strong. Um, So we're mixing it early. So today is Monday. We're going to use this on Saturday. So by Saturday it should be potent, which is exactly what we want. Oh, look at that! It didn't separate. I thought it would. No, it didn't. It's like a paste. Nice. This is beautiful. Look at that. All right. Beautiful, and it's well mixed. All right. Cool. All right. So now we're going to just wrap it up and put it in a dark place until. And now we're going to put this in a dark place and we're going to use this and saturate it. All right. So here I have some green tea, some lips and green tea, right? So what we're going to do is two days before you wash day, which would be like Thursday, you can even do it, you can even do it Friday. You can even do it Saturday until one couple hours before you wash day. It's up to you. But me, I'm going to do it maybe Thursday or Friday because I want it to be very strong, right? So what I'm going to do is put it in some hot water. You're going to brew it. So you're going to brew this. And then well, after you wash your hair, shampoo your hair, you're going to rinse that out. Then spray this on your scalp. I don't put it on my hair. Why? Because it makes my hair hard, right? So I don't do that. Maybe it won't do that for you. But this is supposed to help to like strengthen your hair as well. So there you go. Um, black tea, you can use black tea as well. I think black tea is a little bit um, stronger. But we're going to use this for now because I'm already using all the other herbs and stuff. So we're going to use the green tea. And then you spray that on your scalp, massage that in. Go ahead, put on your conditioner. You know, let your conditioner sit for like a minute or so. Then you wash it out, right? Then you want to go ahead now and put your paste. 
Make sure you put the paste on the scalp and everything because you want it to get everywhere. You want it to be very penetrated. Because remember now, we have put this on scalp because we're focusing on the scalp. Yes, we want hair to be long, but for hair to be long, you need healthy scalp because that's where your hair grow from, right? Right. So, green tea or black tea, whichever you prefer. Me, green tea. So, after all of that now, guys, I'm going to keep the piercing on my hair for like an hour, hour, 30 minutes. So, I'm probably going to clean because, you know, I have a child, so I'm also going to be messy. So, I'm probably going to clean or, you know, probably even cook for like an hour, hour, 30 minutes or something. Then, go ahead and wash that out. After I wash that out, but I need to do no other treatment because that's my treatment, right? And I'm going to be doing this every two weeks, right? So, every two weeks, I'm going to be doing this. Then after you do that, put in your leave-in condition, I style your hair, whatever. I'm going to separate my edges because I want to keep it away from the rest of my hair. So I'm going to separate my edges, put it in paper like some um, small flat twist, and um, protective style the back of my hair. Right? And that, I'm going to do that for two weeks. What I do, because I work in healthcare, so I wear a scrub hat to work. I like to put on my satin bonnet under my scrub hat, and then put my scrub hat on. I do have some scrub hat that have the bonnet inside of it that I got from my auntie. Thank you, Auntie Rose. Um, yes, so I can do that as well. So if you work in healthcare, make sure that you're wearing a bonnet under your hair so there's no friction under your cap. So there's no friction, right? Right, so after all of that now, guys, I'm going to come back to you guys within a month and keep you guys up to date. But I'm, I'm going to show you a lens check and everything. But remember... On my community or maybe my community area or maybe even in my shorts I'm going to be sharing like updates and little things that I'm doing during the day and so forth to keep you guys up to date right um after a month we're going to do the reveal we're going to see how we're looking scalp wise length wise sheen strength all of that yeah and then I'm going to do this for six months overall six months overall so i'm going to check with you guys one month later and in five months down the line we're going to come back to see how long we are how my scalp is looking do i have hair going back in the areas that i lost hair all of that and all of that yeah so if you are interested please go ahead and click the subscribe button like this video share it with somebody because i know a lot of us are losing hair even if like people who get pregnant postpartum it kicking our butts so go ahead, share this video, like, subscribe, and um, keep in touch with me, you know? Communicate with each other in the comment section. Um, let me know what products are you guys using, how is your hair doing, what's your hair journey like, you know? Let's have a discussion in the comment section, guys. Yeah, you don't know, we're family over here, yeah? Alright, meet you the next time. Bye for now.